Megas and cyborgs and glyphs, oh my! A brainwashed girl in the FBI! Anne's really cute with her mom, who's... Ty... Uh... Eh, 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 here's a video about all that. The time has come, guys! Season 3! Tres temporada! Vregun dan ti sam! Hopefully I said that right. Yes, the third and final season of Amphibia is almost upon us. And with only a week left to go before the premiere on October 2nd, we get the usual release of a good old, not quite spoilers, but just enough material for us to theorize trailer, and a cute little promo featuring some little comedic bits, and reaction gifts for days. Luckily, neither of these are as packed as the Owl House Season 2A trailer, so hopefully this vid won't become 20 minutes long like that one did. But I will do my best to give y'all some of my predictions, while using a bunch of info from the trailer, the promo, the Season 3 opening, and the publicly released episode titles. Basically everything that's out right now. Alright, let's hop to it! Let's start with the trailer, which begins with... Well, just a montage of clips from Seasons 1 and 2, basically. We do get a nice low-key rendition of It's No Big Deal, which I hope isn't just for the trailer, because I really want to see that in the actual show. But aside from No Big Deal, nothing else here is that big of a deal. So, skip! All right, now we get to the new stuff. Anne is back in sunny LA. Birds, beaches, family bonding, and giant killer robots bent on her total annihilation. Uh, dang it, Andy. Yep, like we saw in the season three intro, Anne and company are not exactly out of the woods this season, since King Andy is gonna use the box to send a battalion of tin amphibians to take them out. At first, I didn't think there was much worth noting here, but I do want you to take a look at these two shots side by side. Here's a robot nude thing, looks brand new, mint condition, symmetrical, all that good stuff. But then check this guy out. It's obvious that this is supposed to be the same robot, or at least the same model, and yet it looks like HodgePodge from Action League Now. We've got a car tire shoulder plate, some kind of buzzsaw leg, some obvious repairs done to the head and torso, and some kind of arm that looks like those diggers they use at excavation sites. Now we do see Super Say Anne fighting someone in the junkyard twice in this trailer, and if it's not those Toadbots from the opening, it's possible that it could be this guy. I'm gonna guess that in the episode Anne's assassination, the nude bot is sent out to destroy Anne and her loved ones, she tries to run from it and fight it off a bunch of times but simply can't, it ends up hurting one or more of her family members, she gets super angry, powers up, and completely bodies it, but when the smoke clears, it wasn't entirely destroyed. Then someone salvages what was left of it, and fixes it up using various scraps that they find lying around the junkyard. Who fixed it up and why? Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Anyway, next up we got Grime and Sasha jumping out of Andy's moving castle while avoiding a ton of laser gunfire. I'm pretty sure that this is a clip from the episode Turning Point, where Sasha and Grime escape Newtopia and hide out in Wardwood. Not only am I excited to see Wardwood again, but I also really hope we get a continuation of Sasha and Grime's talk in True Colors, where Sasha admits that she doesn't know what she wants and is clearly having second thoughts about her choices up to that point. There were a lot of aspects touched on in True Colors that I really want to see explored this season, and I hope this will be one of them. Next, we have Yunan and Olivia entering some kind of... new... temple? At least I assume it's new, since it doesn't look like any door I'm familiar with. It's not the King's Secret Stash from Sleepover, it's not the Robot Frog Room from First Temple, I have no clue what that thing is. My best guess is that they both went rogue at some point, and are trying to look for some kind of ancient newt knowledge to hopefully aid in taking down the king. I mean, the glyphs on the door clearly look like stretched out nude necks, and the symbol in the middle could be an all-seeing eye or something. So yeah, basically some kind of vault of knowledge documenting the early age of the Newt Empire. Not only could this be really interesting for lore, but it would be cute to see Yunnan and Olivia interacting some more. Their few bits in True Colors were hilarious, and having this boisterous egotist and this reserved aristocrat bouncing off each other is just asking for fun. We got Anne just flooring it in some kind of Thai food truck like this is GTA Bangkok or something, and this is more than likely a clip from the episode Thai Feud, where Anne tries to get rid of a Thai food truck that's ruining her family's business. I honestly didn't expect her to steal the freaking thing, but hey, I've never seen a Thai food war before, so maybe they get pretty intense. I wouldn't know, I mostly eat Italian. We got Anne's folks breaking out the power tools, for what reason I have no idea, though we are going to see this nail gun later on, so keep that in mind. We have Anne meeting up with that museum lady from the Season 3 intro, who I believe is named Dr. Jan. This is likely going to take place in the episode Fight at the Museum, where Anne and company need to rob the museum, probably to steal some kind of important artifact that might have been left here by amphibians in the same way the box was, but I have no clue as of yet. A lot of people are predicting that Sprig's mom is the one who took the box to Earth, so who knows? Maybe she left something behind that archaeologists saw as a relic. Like a medallion, or a coin... 
or her skeleton? Nah, nah, that'd probably be too dark for this show. Then again, they are clearly sneaking around a dinosaur exhibit full of fossils in the intro. Nope, 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 get that thought out of my head. Too dark, too dark, bad brain, bad brain, bad. Next up is Polly in a video chat with these two super cute mechanic girls, complete with a newly constructed Frobo body in the background. Now these two are the characters that I'm thinking will fix up the new bot. I'm guessing that in fixing Frobo, Polly's gonna get instructions from these two on how to build a makeshift body for Frobo out of useless junk. Eventually he does reactivate, but something goes horribly wrong. Like maybe he's restored back to factory setting, or maybe the more low-tech body is interfering with his more high-tech head circuits. Either way, something goes wrong. Frobo goes haywire and starts wrecking stuff, so Anne, Hop Hop, and Sprig fight to destroy it, thinking it's just another one of the robots that Andreas sent to kill them. But then Polly tells them the truth, that it was the new body that she built for Frobo, she gets upset, and then tells the two mechanic girls that she's not really in the mood to try again at the moment, and that she'll see them later. The girls get upset that their advice only made Polly's life worse, so they both agree to try and build her a brand new robot friend as a gift. They find the scrap of the destroyed newt bot in the junkyard, and fix him up as good as new, forming the cacophony that you see before you. I'm not sure if it'll go right back to business as soon as it's activated, or maybe the government will swipe it claiming it as government-owned property and use it for their own nefarious deeds, but either way, it'll be back to its own kill main characters objective sooner than later. Next up is Sasha accidentally stepping on Anne's journal and taking some time to read it. Another potential scene from The Turning Point. And I'm guessing that this will be the actual turning point in The Turning Point. I mean, imagine reading through your best friend's personal thoughts. All the special connections she formed throughout her adventures. All the things you took for granted in your relentless pursuit of powers. This has got to be my most hyped episode announced so far. And the fact that it's only number three on the list is even better. We got Marcy in her revitalizing chamber. Not much to say there, except poor baby. We got Super Say Anne throwing a punch that causes an atomic explosion. Not much to say there, except that's freaking awesome. We got a planter family hug. Not much to say there, except that's cute. And then we get a scene of Marcy on the palace balcony looking down at Newtopia. And notice that she's in her original school hoodie balancing on a crutch. I want to guess that this is some kind of backstory episode, which explains what life was like when she first got to Newtopia. As I said in my Season 2 video, Marbles is going to have a lot of time to think about her life choices while she's stuck in that chamber. And maybe she's going through her entire life in Amphibia, reliving all those happy memories one last time to try and escape from the sad truth that she ruined the lives of her friends, family, and everyone in both dimensions. It's your fault, Marcy. You did this. And you're going to have to accept it sooner or later. Anyway, next we get Yunnan and Olivia fighting off some robots that are probably guarding that nude vault that I mentioned before. We get the planters in their human disguises looking after Domino, which is another confirmed episode plot. Also, Polly in her human disguise is the cutest thing ever. She's like a little blonde walking grape. I want to squeeze her. We get Anne and... I think that's a girl? In a lab coat kicking down a door while inside of some kind of sanitation station, judging by the shower heads on the ceiling. I'm gonna say that this is a top secret government facility that they're infiltrating, because immediately after we have a shot of the FBI armed and ready for action. Led by RuPaul, apparently? I knew that the government was gonna get involved eventually, what with the humanoid frog people and giant robots running around, but I am interested to see what kind of threat they're gonna pose later down the line. We see Hop Hop in his human disguise driving a golf cart and almost getting blown up, Sasha raising her sword at the Ward Ward entrance, probably rallying the frogs together to help her fight against Andreas. We see Anne fighting the newt bot in some sort of... meat... freezer? Interesting hiding place. Sprig getting in a kung fu fight with some kind of... cyborg rollerblading detective that looks like it ripped off one of the newt bot's arms? Ah, uh, I got nothing to say here since this guy wasn't even in the intro. Maybe he's the father of one of the tech girls who's always wanted to be a cyborg? I don't know. We have Polly remotely activating her makeshift Frobo, like I mentioned before. We have Sprig... Gingerly placing a real frog on the ground to make sure it doesn't get hurt? Aww. Not only do I expect a cuteness heart attack from whatever this scene is, but maybe Sprig's gonna have a realization that this little frog and him are really not that different. I mean, long ago, him and his people were pretty scared and helpless and kind of lost in what they should do. Until someone bigger came along, protected them, and showed them the way. Aw, oh, jeez, I'm gonna start crying now. Next scene! We have a gigantic boot that slams down and crushes a car, which does not look familiar in the slightest. 
Does the rope imply that this is going to be some kind of parade balloon or something? Because it seems like the planters are on some kind of Christmas or Christmas-esque float back here. So maybe there's going to be some kind of winter holiday special at some point? I mean, I'd totally be down for a winter holiday. We haven't had that in the show yet. Unless you count snow day, which I don't. And then we have Anne falling asleep on her mom's shoulder in the back seat of the car. I repeat. Aww. Well, that was a nice wholesome way to close out a trailer. Hopefully there won't be any last minute dramatic reveal and right on cue. Yep, fooled you! The trailer actually ends with this shot of Marcy in full mind control armor, surrendering her will to that multi-eyed frog robot thing that Andreas worships. I knew there was a reason that Andreas was holding on to her. I bet she's trying to give that multi-eyed thing a mobile body so we can actually move around freely instead of staying in that room. And we even get to hear what I assume is going to be its canon voice, because that definitely does not sound like Andreas. I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen in this episode, though I think that Yunan and Olivia might be involved somewhere because they appear with Armored Marcy in this one shot, but whatever's going on, I am equal parts hyped, terrified, and clinically depressed. Best girl is going to be a killer robot zombie thing, and I don't like that. Whew, well, that was a lot to swallow, don't you think? So let's wrap things up here with something more lighthearted, the Season 3 promo which was released on the same day. As far as big significant things to talk about, there's not as much here as there is in the trailer. I mean, we do see Super Say Anne fighting the Newt bot in the meat freezer that we saw earlier, and Hop Hop and Sprig dancing on the remains of what looks like Frobo's new body, further proving my fixing Frobo theory, and here we have the planters demolishing some robot dragonflies that Andreas sent to Earth as well. Also, maybe this takes place in Temple Frogs because that might be the Thai temple in the background? And of course we see the newly scrapped together nude bot chasing the Boon Choi's car while shooting them with a nail gun. My money's on the fact that Anne's parents actually helped her with that fight in the junkyard using these tools, but wound up dropping them. And when the tech girls rebuilt the nude bot, they gave him that nail gun as an attachment. So now he's like, nya 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 nya, who's got the nail gun now? <laughs> As for the other scenes, they're mostly just slice of life affair and or meme worthy reactions. In fact, instead of talking about these scenes, here are some memes that I threw together using the best ones that they gave us. Enjoy! Overall, I'd say I'm thoroughly hyped for some more Amphibia. I still think it's extremely underrated compared to other Disney shows out there, and it is easily the most lovable cartoon cast I've seen in a long time. It is a shame that this is its last hurrah, but I'm sure the team will do everything they can to go out with a bang. And hey, I'll definitely still be here supplying the reviews and the reactions for all y'alls if you choose to stick around, so grab the tastiest bugs you can and sit tight, because this show isn't going down without a fight. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Tell me what you want to see in Amphibia Season 3, and subscribe for more Amphibia and cartoon content coming soon. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I hope to see you all real soon.